Hello, good evening, Glenda. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm brushing my teeth. <laughs> You're brushing your teeth, really? <laughs> okay. so, don't worry. Okay, Um, I'll give a couple of uh, minutes, okay? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hello, Eulise. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How uh, how was your day? Good. So my, so tiring. My day was very busy. It was busy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, because uh, I did uh, a lot. Uh, activities in my job a lot of activities at work oh my god okay all right so but it was good yes but um how do you say al fin al fin del día al fin del día todo bien al fin at the end of the day everything was okay yes it's a, it's a, a, a could you repeat that yes at the end of the day at the end of the day everything was okay Everything, everything was, it was okay. It, it was okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. So good evening, um, Nelson, Carlos, Dominguez, Anna. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening teacher. teacher. I'm eating right now. Okay. Don't worry. I'll give you a couple of minutes. Okay. Go ahead and, and, and eat. Um, Thank you. Okay, so what about your day, Anna? How was it? Hello? <laughs> yes, hi, Anna. Uh, How was your hello. day? My day was um, hard, maybe. Mm -hmm. I had uh, many tasks. Uh, around the day and um, my boss is sick and she went her house okay and we um stay alone okay all right so it was kind of difficult yes <laughs> oh my god okay so yes okay well um let's see well um we also have Edwin, but okay, uh, we have Salvador. Well, we are going to start with today's class. I don't know if my internet is having some issues, guys, but um, can you hear me properly? Me escuchan. Yes, so with yes. some delay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I'm going to turn off my uh, my video just for a while, okay? So let's see. Uh, we're going to start with today's class. And do you hear me? Yeah? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so today's agenda, we are going to start with the warm up. Then we are going to move to grammar, which is unit three. And today, guys, we are going to talk about one of, it's not difficult, but you need to pay attention to master this topic because it is kind of, a complex okay so modal verbs in the past okay so then we are going to move to the speaking time we have a grammar quiz and we also have listening quizzes today okay um so we are going to start with uh, the warm-up and as a warm-up we have reading so i need one volunteer to read this text who wants to read Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Thank you, Eulise. Okay, go, Eulise. Uh, this uh, part you are going to read to. Uh, so, se puede leer o no? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, you are going to read two texts written by two starting students who are talking create their change matches with starting with students for other partner parts of the world of uh of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, what countries do you do they write about? Why do tourists why tourists visit the two countries? Mm -hmm. Uh dear Anita, uh, I want to tell you about my country. Uh Dio Dailedan is often called the land of smile because the people are very polite. Families live together. I live with my parents, brother, grandparents, and one out. I have many cousins and they come to my house very often. A tourist love uh, Thailand, I don't know, for the uh, beautiful nature, okay. weather and the food. I think the Thai food is the best in the world. My favorite dish is pat. This is friend note and tung Bian Kun strip soup with the lemon. We have fresh vegetable and fruits all year around. I love traditional music and dance and el yeah. elephant. Mm -hmm. Please tell me about Norway. It, is it really cool? Mm -hmm. Lots of love. Busana. Busama. Busama. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, guys. Thank you, Eulise. Well, guys, this is a short reading. And as you can see, we have an email, right? So this one is uh, for Anita. Yeah. Dear Anita. Yeah. I want to tell you about my country, Thailand. Yeah. So Thailand is often called the land of smiles. Do you know that? The Thailand is often called the land of smiles. Mm -hmm. Why? Because people are very polite. Mm -hmm. So families. This is really. Yes. Yes. This is this is true. Okay. okay. Yes. Families live together. Uh, so I live with my parents, brothers, grandparents, and one aunt. I have many cousins, and they come to my house very often. Tourists love Thailand for the beautiful nature, and that is correct. If you have seen pictures uh, from Thailand, it is beautiful, right? Warm weather and the food. Yes, I think Thai food is the best in the world. My favorite dish is Pad Thai, fried noodles, like this example that we have right here. Okay, and Tom Jung Kun, which is a shrimp soup with lemon, this one. Okay, we have fresh vegetables and fruits all year round. I love traditional music and dances and elephants. So yeah, if you have seen pictures, Thailand is known for elephants, right? Mm -hmm. So then what countries do they write about? Let's see. What countries uh, do they mention in this email? Thailand. Thailand. And which other country do they mention? Thailand is one. Norway. Excellent. Norway. Mm -hmm. So please tell me about Norway. And why do tourists visit the two countries? Uh -huh. In this case, why do they visit Thailand? Mm -hmm. Because uh, Thailand for the beautiful nature okay. and also the 
the food, the traditional food, music, and dance. Okay, perfect. Now repeat after me and say nature. 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 Very good. Okay. Now let's move to read uh, the second reading. Okay. This is another one. All right. This is about Kenya. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I need two volunteers. Me. Okay, Nelson, please read from here till close. And the second one? Okay. Me. Okay, Glenda. thank you, Glenda. From Mas uh, Masai till Yatimu. Yeah? Okay, go, Nelson. Okay. Dear Busama, Kenya is a big country. We have mountains, the sea, and a lot of, the, of national parks. I have never seen the sea. I live in a small village near the Ma Maasai Mara Park. My family are Maasai, so I speak Ma, but also Swahili and English. There are many language, languages in Kenya, so everybody learns Swahili and English to communicate. The Maasai people are tall and handsome and they wear colorful clothes. Sorry. <laughs> For Maasai people, the most important animal is the cow. But we also have many wild animals in Kenya. There are lions, giraffes, zebras, buffaloes, eagles, elephants, and rhinos. Mm -hmm. Tourists often come here of safari. They don't kill the animals, of course. They just take hundreds of photos. I love birds, and my favorite dish is ma matake. Mm -hmm. Matake? A banana porridge. Please write write to me about Thailand. Your Africa friends, Gatimu. Yes. Okay. So pronunciation. All right. I'm going to focus on pronunciation right now when it comes to animals. Okay. So we have lions, giraffes, zebras, buffaloes. Okay. It's like ba buffaloes. Yeah. When you see buffalo wings, it's not buffalo wings, it's buffalo, right? Because it's in English, okay? And we also have hippos, elephants, and, Toda mi vida equivocado. and rhinos, okay? Yes, I know people say buffalo wings because, I mean, it is, um, we think that it's in Spanish and that's what we read, but no, it's buffalo, right? In English, mm -hmm. And we also have rhinos, yeah? And let me see what else. Well, that's pretty much about pronunciation, okay? Then this one is I know that is kind of confusing because it's not something that we uh, know by heart, right? Masay, Swahili, right? Um, Swahili? Yes, mm -hmm. that's a language. Oh, okay. That's a language. Okay. All right, so now let's see. Let me ask you. Let's decide if the statements are true or false. Number one, Busama has a small family. True or false? False is a name. Okay, it is? A name. Ah, it's false. False. False, okay. Now, number two, she likes Thai food. Mm -hmm. True or false? No. Okay. False. Number okay. Yes. Why? Because we don't see it right there. 
Number three. Yes. There are giraffes in Thailand. True. True, right? Gatimu lives near the sea. True. False. Okay, false. False live in a small village. False. Now, because... What about, uh -huh. Why? Because, because the never... is correct. Okay, all right. So then, what about he speaks three languages? False. False, right? What languages does he speak? English, English and English. Yes. Yeah. Very good. And number six. Two uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, do you speak three languages? True or false? Uh, uh, my family are Maasai, so I speak Ma, mm -hmm. but also Sahili in English. Mm -hmm. Okay, so true or false? Uh, for me, it's true. Very good. English. So. Yeah, Ma, Swahili, and English. Excellent. And number six. Tourists come to Kenya to look at wild animals. It's true. True. Yes, that is true. Would you like to go to Kenya, guys, or to Thailand? Would you like to visit Thailand or Kenya? Yes. Yes, I would like to visit uh, these countries. Yes, I think that Thailand is um, more beautiful than Kenya. That's my perception, right? Mm -hmm. More polite. Could be, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. that is correct. Mm -hmm. But they don't kill animals right there, as you can see, right? I mean, yes. It's Those, excellent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Now let's move. Okay, uh, speaking. Okay, we are going to start by asking you a couple of questions. And let me ask you, which websites do you use the most? Can you please uh, tell us which websites do you use the most, Wilbury? And what do you like most about them? Sorry, it's, it's me. Yes, William. Oh, sorry. Uh, which website do you do in my, do I use most? Mm. Well, I have no websites that I use most, really. Because when I, when I uh, when I want to search something, uh, I just write on the Google, mm -hmm. and the first one that I that I uh, that I find so interesting, but no website. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. You use uh, Google. Just Google. Okay. Yes. Just Google. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Rafael? Which websites do you use the most and what do you like most about them? Uh, I use uh, a lot uh, Google mm -hmm. because I can search uh, anything when I, what I want. Mm -hmm. And I use uh, a lot YouTube too. For for such search music mm -hmm. or tutorials, okay, or anything, uh, or everything, and I use uh, Amazon too mm -hmm. uh, for buy uh, uh, things. All right, and that's all. Okay, thank you for buying. Okay, for buy. buying. Yes. Okay, a uh, Karen, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, a uh, Karen, can you please tell us where would you like to go on your next holiday? You would like to visit. I would like to go 
in other countries, teacher? Yes. Or any place. Okay. Any place. Here any in place. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. In, in El Salvador, I would to go to uh, Vital. Okay. Why? Because for the weather. For the weather. Uh, weather, yes. For the weather. Uh, in my favorite weather. <laughs> okay. All right. And the other country I want to go uh, Canada. Canada? Oh, Canada. Um, maybe uh, maybe Spain. Okay, the United States. Okay, thank you, Karen. Okay, so let me see. Um, in the last question, Raúl, what was your first job? Mm, my first job was in a digital agency. Okay. Yeah, in a digital agency. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. That was my first job. Okay. Well done. Uh, Salvador, where would you like to go on your next holiday? Uh, let me see. I would like to travel to to uh, Chile. Oh, Chile. Okay. Or Peru. Peru again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Raul. Okay. Salvador, and you, where would you like to go on your next holiday? I would like to go to Hawaii. Oh my God, really? Okay. <laughs> awesome. Why? Because I I like I like to beach. You like the beach? The Me gusta ir con mi familia. With your family. I, I would love to go with my family. Mm -hmm. Okay, repeat after me. I will love. I would love. Love. To go. To go. With my family. With my family. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Yes, I think that will. Um, there are many places, right? Beautiful places. Okay, inside our country and outside as well, right? So, okay. Um, I need um, Rafael, please be the kitchen manager and uh, hostman, Mary. Intonation, guys. Intonation, okay, intonación en esas oraciones. Okay, uh, where's Mario? He is late for his shift. His shift. Mario, goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. Very sick. I should have told you early. No worry, he should have called me directly. If he had called it to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. At that time, his afternoon, let me cover for him. Okay. Now, um, Hosman, sick. Okay, sick. It was okay, the pronunciation. Okay, sick, yes. Okay. So, in this case, guys, we have a couple of... Um, highlighted sentences as you can see we have i should have told he should have called i could have found so how do we call this in english what is this those are modal verbs in the past yeah verbos modales en pasado mm, do you remember the ones in present modal verbs Okay, Susana, yes. Don't worry, okay? Just try to 
If you want, Susana, turn off your camera because sometimes because of that data and it is, is even uh, worse, right? So, okay. Uh, do you remember about modal verbs in present? No. Yes, maybe. Can. Can, uh -huh. Might. Might. Must. Must. Should. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Those are in present, right? But today we are going to cover modal verbs in past. And we are going to cover also um, a different structure. Yeah, so pay attention because this one is very important. And you will see that we are going to use past perfect. Do you remember about past perfect? If not, you are going to remember today. Okay, so let's see. Um, Nelson, help us reading uh, this, this side, the left side, and Anna, the right side, please. Okay. Use perfect models to express uh, regret or remorse about past actions. Uh, you should have class past, past participle to talk about regrets. Mm -hmm. For example, I should have sent the reporter sooner. I shouldn't have asked her to carry those box boxes. Cool and ghoul have are often used with if plus had plus past participle. If I had known you were sick, I could have gotten a substitute. The manager could have fixed your schedule if you have mentioned it to him. I will have come to work if I have received the schedule on time. Okay, if I had received. Okay. Received. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, guys. All right, so it says that we use perfect models to express regret or remorse about past actions. Teacher, what is regret? What is remorse? Regret is arrepentimiento. Remordimiento. Remorse, remordimiento. Okay. About past actions. So this topic is about past actions, okay? Regrets and remorse. So right now, what we are going to cover is one by one, okay? Vamos a cubrir una por una, para que se nos haga un poco más fácil, yeah? So we have the first one. How do we use could have? So what is the meaning of could have itself? So could have means podría haber, or, or it could be pude haber. You will see, we have the structure. Look at the structure, guys. If subject have verb in past participle. So that means that we need to learn verbs in past participle. Complement, comma, subject could have verb in past participle and complement. And we have the example. If I have known about the meeting, so si yo hubiese o hubiera sabido acerca de la reunión, past, okay, eso es pasado. If I had known, si yo hubiese sabido. If I had known about the meeting, I could have attended. Attended. Yo mm -hmm, pudiese haber asistido. O pudiera haber asistido. Como usted lo quiera conjugar. But it's about past. Mm -hmm. Now we also have negative sentences. And we have the structure. 
if subject hadn't verb in past participle complement comma subject couldn't have because it's negative verb in past participle plus complement and we have if i hadn't known about the meeting i couldn't have attended si yo no hubiese sabido acerca de la meeting de la reunión yo uh -huh. no hubiera asistido no habría atendido no habría podido no habría. Okay. Yes. Okay. So could have means pude haber, podría haber, pasado, past. Yeah. It's, teacher, it's necessary two sentences. No, it's not always necessary two sentences, as you can see right here. Okay. Yeah. I okay. should have sent the report sooner. I okay. mean, we don't have two sentences, but on this one, yes, right? So, but it's, but it's good that you learned two sentences because at the end is, it is better in this way because that's the, the way um, that you are going to use the most, right? Sure, thank yeah. you. Okay, but it's not necessary, mm -hmm. correct. All right, any question till here? Could have. Okay. ¿Cómo, se, ¿Cómo se pronuncia el shoot con el nata? Junto, contractado. ¿Turen? ¿Perdón? ¿Turen? ¿O curen? No. Shoot en en nat. Shooten. Shooten. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. Um. Okay, now I'm going to give you a sentence in Spanish and I need you to interpret, okay? Remember, usted va a interpretar, no va a traducir. El inglés se interpreta, ¿ya? Yeah? Se traduce cuando uno es traductor, pero uno interpreta el inglés, right? So, um, si yo, escucha bien, si yo hubiese tenido dinero, podría haber comprado zapatos. Si yo hubiese tenido dinero, podría haber comprado zapatos. If I had money, if I, had I could money. have shoes. Mm -hmm. Now, mira la estructura. If I had money, if I had if had, I had them, mm -hmm. money. Okay, let me see. Let me stop my video because my internet is slow. Okay, so if I had verb in past participle. If I uh, had, had uh -huh. if money, I had had money, had money I, 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 I could have, have, I could have buy, shoes. Buy them. Had, no, I could buy, have uh -huh. buy the the choose past participle boat boat boat, boat shoes boat. very good so that's the switch that you need to do ahí está el detalle donde tenemos que trabajar okay so now if i want to say if i want to say um Ok, um, si yo hubiese, si yo hubiese comido menos, me podría haber ido a la cama temprano. Si yo hubiese comido menos, me podría haber ido a la cama temprano. Interprete la oración. If I had eaten uh -huh. less. Yes. I uh, couldn't have 
uh, have go to the bed early. Slept. Slept early. I could have slept early. Okay. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me think about another idea and then it's your turn. Okay. Okay, so, um, okay. Si ella, si ella hubiese estudiado inglés, si ella hubiese estudiado inglés, ella podría haber sido azafata. Si ella hubiese estudiado inglés, Ella podría haber sido azafata. If I had. Uno. If she had. If she had studied. Studied English. She could have been. No sé cómo se dice azafata. Okay. How do you say azafata? Yes, fly attendant. Very good. So, if she had studied English, she could have been, been, okay, been. participle, fly attendant. Fly attendant. Okay. And if you notice, guys, for all of the subjects, is the same structure. I mean, we do not change. Had doesn't change. Okay, it's the same structure for I, you, we, they, he, she, it. The same structure. I have a question. Yes. The second part to the structure uh, always is have in the pending subject. Correct. Yes. Always have. Okay. Okay, very good. Now is your turn. Create one sentence and send it to the uh, to the chat to Zoom. Remember the coma in the middle. Okay, punctuation marks and the period at the end. Okay, a sentence. Think about a sentence using could have. Teacher. Yes. I'm sorry. I was talking with my boss and I oh. and I didn't and I couldn't put attention. Oh, I, I couldn't pay. Pay attention. Um yeah, they are creating one sentence using this structure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. And if you have questions, ask. Okay. If you have questions, ask. Okay, let me see. If I had about the ticket, the ticket, okay. I could have watched. 
Okay. Mm. Carlos Eduardo, it is uh, it is not totally correct because of the spelling of ticket. You are missing the letter C and you are missing the period at the end of the sentence. Uh, Wilbur, if I had arrived early, you are missing the period and you are missing something on that sentence. Le falta algo a esa oración y aparte el punto. Nelson, if I had... Uh, Okay, uh, Nelson, locked is not a verb. No es un verbo. Okay, entonces, no. Cierto. Okay, so Ana Lorena, if I had gone, if I had gone to, to, mm -hmm. if I had gone to my parents' house, I could have eaten with them. Object pronoun, them, not they them if i had saved money i could have bought the flight before the holiday okay and i could have probably in this case i could have booked okay como a uh, booked de, de reservar mm -hmm. if i had arrived i could have a, a, mm, if i had arrived early i could have a, a Mm. The past participle of attend, Wilbur, pasado participio. El, el verbo está en presente, el que me ha puesto, attend. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio? Rafael, if you had, Rafael, you are missing something on the first sentence. Mira la estructura. If I had helped, Ok. Only, Ahí viendo, only I. Uh, let me see. If you had... Mm -mm. Eh, the first sentence, Rafael, you are missing the verb. You have the auxiliary, but not the verb. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Salvador, if I had learned English when I was a child, I could have spoken fluently. Yes, Salvador. Um, Nelson, in this case, if I had helped... Okay, I mean, it is okay, the idea, but you're missing the period. But your idea is like, si yo hubiese ayudado en mi trabajo. Es lo que, esa es la idea. Si yo hubiese ayudado en mi trabajo, yo podría haber viajado alrededor del mundo. Yes. Okay, period. Um, if I had... Mm, okay, Susana. Mm, not exactly. Susana, the first sentence is not correct. La primera oración le falta algo. Fíjese en la estructura de la primera oración. Eh, if I had a I could have attended. Yes, eh, Wilbur. Eh, Ulises, if I had studied English before, I would. I... No, eh, Ulises. That one is not using this structure. Um, Eulisa, remember that is this structure because this one is about the past. Okay. Uh, Raul, if I had, mm, no, the past participle, pasado participio de wake up. Walk up. Uh, no, walk up. Mm, if I had played better. Okay, Rose, I could have won the match. Yes, Rose. But, Rose, your sentence is not correct. No está correcta porque la I, recuerde que el, el pronombre I tiene que ir en mayúscula, nunca en minúscula. Eh, no, Raúl, it's not woke up. Past participle. Pasado participio. Okay, guys. If she had... Mm -mm. No. Edwin, la primera oración es la que no está correcta. Ahí no tiene verbo. Solo le ha puesto hasta aquí. ¿Y el verbo? Ah, 
Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to take the attendance, okay, in the meantime. So go ahead and think about your ideas. I'm going to take attendance. Ana Lorena. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia. Present. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer. Blanca. Carlos Alberto Domingo. Present. Present. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Torres. Yes. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Ay, so Carlos Eduardo Torres. Yeah. Eh, Carlos Francisco Arias. Well, he is, I think that with her. Um, okay. Uh, Cesar Homero Amaya. No. Eh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres. Present. Fatima Noemi. Present. Pat Thank you. Present. Glenda Josefina. Present. Thank you, Glenda. Eh, Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Thank you. Houseman Atilio. Houseman. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisette Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Catherine Indira Velasquez. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Raul Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena. Present. Yes. Eh, Walter David. Yeah, I haven't seen Walter today. Wilbert Alberto. Present. And Jensi Azucena. Yeah, Jensi um, is sick, I think. All right. So now let's move. Okay, let's move. And do you have any doubt about could have? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear right now about this? Just practice. Just practice, yes, that is correct. Yeah, it's a yeah. difficult topic. Yes, I know. And this one requires a lot of practice. Yes. Of course, we are going to have practice, okay, about this. But now let's move and let's talk about should have. You know, should have is the easiest one. That's what I think, should have. Why? Because this one is like saying, uh, debí haber. Debí haber. For example, in this case, we have, look at the structure, the same thing. If subject had verb in past participle complement. And what it changes is should have. Now we don't use could have, we use should have. Yeah, you see, that's what it changes. And in the negative, the same thing, shouldn't have. Debí haber. O debería haber. Depends on what you want to, to say. Debía haber o debería haber, como usted lo quiere interpretar. Shouldn't have, no debía haber. O no debería haber. If I had seen it, si yo lo hubiese visto, o si yo lo hubiera visto, I should have called you. Yo debería haberte llamado. Si yo lo hubiese visto, yo debería haberte llamado. Mm -hmm. Okay. The same thing with the negative. If you hadn't seen it, si tú no lo habías visto, if you hadn't seen it, you shouldn't have told me. No deberías haberme dicho. Si no lo habías visto, si no lo habías visto, no deberías haberme dicho. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm. Okay. Do you have any question about this? Okay. Um, example, okay? I'm going to give you the sentence in Spanish and I need you to interpret that one in English. So, um, si yo, si yo hubiese cocinado pollo, si yo hubiese cocinado pollo, yo debería haber comprado más papas. Si yo hubiese cocinado pollo, yo debería haber comprado más papas. If I had eh, cooked chicken, I, I should have uh, more boat. Yeah. Boat. Uh, I don't know. I cooked it. Okay, so about more potatoes. Excellent. Yes. So if I had cooked chicken, I should have bought more potatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any question? If not, I need to create one sentence. Create one sentence, but using should have or shouldn't have. If you want to create a negative, create a negative. But don't only, create, period. Mm -hmm. Only one uh, sentence? Yes, only one. Mm -hmm. About should have. Yes, we should have. Okay, let me see the first one. If I had studied more for the test, I should have gotten a good grade. Grade, uh, grade, all right, with D. Because great is rayar, pero eh, the nota is grade, con D. If I had both dress, I should have used it. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. Yes, thank you, Susana. Okay, I got Susana and Anna. Glenda, if she had gone with her son, she shouldn't have enjoyed it. Okay. Yes. If I hadn't... Um... <laughs> Okay, Wilbur, um, just written. Read with I. Y el U tiene que ir en letra minúscula. Okay. Very good. Yeah. 
uh, you told me written. Yes, written. Okay. If I should have eaten less. Okay. Yes, I will listen. Okay. Let me see. I'm missing, well, some of you. If I had a period, um, Raul. Very good, Salvador. Excellent, eh, Carlos Eduardo. Excellent. Yes, Nelson. Okay. You see, it is easy. It's just a matter of practicing, right? Okay. So now let's move. Okay. Let's move to the last, uh, to the last uh, structure that we are going to cover. If I had a uh, Blanca sent with the letter T. Okay. Sent. Yes. Um, just remember the letter E mayuscula. Okay. All right, let's move. And the last structure right now. So the same structure if subject had verb in past participle plus complement, but this time we have would have. Would have. And what is the meaning of would have? Would have means habría. Yeah. For example, if you had told me about the, the meeting, I would have come. Okay, so, si tú um, me hubieses dicho acerca de la reunión, yo habría venido. Okay, I don't know why I'm raising my hand. Okay, and then the negative. Same thing, if I had known about the meeting, I wouldn't have come. Si yo no hubiese sabido de la reunión, no hubiese venido o no hubiera venido. Eh, yes. Okay, a sentence. So you can go ahead and interpret it. Eh, si yo hubiese sabido, yo hubiese venido. Si yo hubiese sabido, yo hubiese venido. If I had no. New. No. Ana, yes. I would have gone. Yes. If I had known, mm -hmm. I would have gone. Mm -hmm. um, si yo hubiese tenido, te hubiese dado. Si yo hubiese tenido, te hubiese dado. If I had had, I would have given. Given you. Given. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, Si yo no hubiese tenido pena, si yo no hubiese tenido pena, hubiese participado. 
How do you say pena? Shine. Pain. Okay. Right. Shine. okay. Yes. Uh, shyness. Uh, blush. No. Oh, no, that is like sonrojarse. Yeah, yeah. No, pena, shyness. Okay. Okay, si yo no hubiese tenido pena, pero interprételo, okay? Si yo no lo traduzca literalmente, si yo no hubiese tenido pena, yo hubiese participado. O si yo no hubiese sido penoso, vaya. Uh -huh. If I hadn't had shy, okay. I would have um, don't uh, participate. Mm, not exactly. Mm. If I hadn't been shy. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, no me acuerdo de lo demás. <laughs> de, de la otra. Yo hubiese participado. Ah. Mm -hmm. eh, I, I would have uh, participated. Participated. Perfect. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. So you see? Easy. It's not difficult. Practice, practice. It's practice, practice. Okay. Do you have any question right now? Do you have any question, any doubt, something that is not clear, something that you would like to ask me right now? Not right now. Yes. Yes. Please write me pena, please. Okay. In English. In English? What, Wilbert? I'm searching the translator, but I don't I don't find it. You don't find it? The the translator? No. Pena, no. pena, pena. Yes, uh -huh, oh, but I'm I know. Uh, I want to know how do you write it? Yes, uh, right now. Shyness. S H Y. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys. Um, let's move. Okay. And let's check an example. Okay. Ahora vamos a verlo como en un contexto cómo se utiliza esto. Okay. So you can have an idea. Okay. Uh, letter A, please, Raúl. Letter B, please, um, Salvador. Okay. Hi, Charles. Uh, what did you do yesterday evening? Oh, I had an awful evening. I went to Louis restaurant in Camden with friends. I feel sick today. And that's a pity. Mm -hmm. There are a lot, there are lots of good restaurants. You could have done, gone to Montes, Marrakesh, Marrakesh Express, or once Chinese. You you should have eaten at Montes. They do a great early beer special. What a change! If I have known. I would have eaten there. Maybe next time. Eh. Okay. First of all, vocabulary, guys. That's a pity. What is the meaning of that's a pity? That's a pity? No? That's a pity. It's an expression. Es una expresión que significa es una pena. Es una pena que no pueda ir. Es una pena. Okay. Eh, what about what a shame? What is the meaning of what a shame? Qué pena. Qué pena. No. Qué pena, se me olvidó, dice uno. Mm. What a shame, I forgot. 
-hmm. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, we have a couple of sentences right here that are in the um using past modal verbs, right? You could have gone, you should have eaten. If I had known, I would have eaten there. Yeah. So those are examples of sentences in a conversation. You see, it is common. Uno de, en Spanish dice, si me lo hubiese mandado ahora, bien que se lo mando. Dice. Si me lo hubiese eh, dicho temprano, en la tarde se lo hubiese mandado. Right? So those are things that are expressed in the past model. Mm -hmm. Those type of um, thoughts, right? Okay, perfect. Let's move and let's see. Let's complete the sentences we should, could, or would have plus the past participle. So we have number one. Um, Raul, help us reading number one. Yeah, uh, if the servers have received proper training, they could have answered the customer's questions. Mm -hmm. You see? If the Only server... The one. <laughs> what about number two? The bartender shouldn't take that missing. bottle. Took? No. There is something that you're you are missing. Shouldn't have taken. Excellent. Yes. Shouldn't yes. have taken. Very good. So the bartender shouldn't have taken the bottle of wine without permission. And that is correct. No debió haber tomado esa botella de vino sin permiso. No with permission. Yes, permission. Uh, number three, the servers. Will it have been? Mm, but it's not negative. Negative is positive. Will have been. 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 Yes. The servers would have been in been. trouble if they had been late for the meeting. Si ellos hubieran llegado tarde a la reunión. Number four, you. You should have asked. You should have asked the manager for a day off. Mire, tú debiste haber pedido al gerente un día libre. Un día libre. Mm -hmm. Number five, the cashier. Shouldn't have taken. Mm -hmm. That money from the register, yes. And the last one, I. Should have uh, called. I should to have called know. to let the manager to let the manager know I was sick. You know. Okay. You see, very easy. It's a piece of cake, right? It's not rocket science, right? Yeah. Now let's move to the listening quiz. Do you have any question right now? Because then we are going to have uh, some exercises, okay? Do you have any question right now about this? No? Okay, let's move. And let's take the first listening, okay? The first listening. Let me send it. And if not, uh, go to the spreadsheet. You have it right there. But let me get it for you. The first listening, okay? The first one, the first one is this one and the passcode is listening okay that's the first uh listening open it and let me know once you're in so i can go ahead and and play the recording okay i am in you're i'm in. in thank you okay so let's see yes Okay, I hope we don't have any issues with the internet. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Ready? I'm going to play it twice, okay? Two times. Yeah, two times. Let me see if it's this one. Eh, no, it's this one, I think. Okay. Here we go. My name's Randall Davis, and I'm originally from the state of Indiana in the United States. When I was 19 years old, I moved to Venezuela in South America and later returned to the United States, where I attended Brigham Young University in the 1980s. I majored in Spanish education and TESOL, or teaching English as a second language. After graduating from college, my wife and I moved to Japan, where we lived for eight years. Now I work back in the States in Utah. However, my greatest interests are my family. Years ago, I wanted to make something of myself in my profession. You know, get ahead in life. However, I realized that the most important things in life lived within the walls of my own home, and today I try to put them first. My kids wouldn't remember me for the work I did outside of the home. They would only recall the moments we spent together. Therefore, I enjoy spending time with my family. I have four children, and we go hiking and camping together, usually in Utah. On our hikes, we often talk about life, and I tell stories or share personal experiences. When I do this, I can focus on the kids without the distractions of video games or the Internet. Telling stories sounds easy, but when you have to think of a new story on a hot 12-kilometer hike through the desert, you have to come up with ideas off the top of your head. Now, this doesn't mean we don't have problems. All families face challenges in their lives, and our family is no exception. However, we try to talk openly about our problems, and we try to solve our problems together. Building a strong family takes time, but it's worth the effort. Okay, the second time. My name's Randall Davis, and I'm originally from the state of Indiana in the United States. When I was 19 years old, I moved to Venezuela in South America and later returned to the United States, where I attended Brigham Young University in the 1980s. I majored in Spanish education and TESOL, or teaching English as a second language. After graduating from college, my wife and I moved to Japan, where we lived for eight years. Now I work back in the States in Utah. However, my greatest interests are my family. Years ago, I wanted to make something of myself in my profession. You know, get ahead in life. However, I realized that the most important things in life lived within the walls of my own home, and today I try to put them first. My kids wouldn't remember me for the work I did outside of the home. They would only recall the moments we spent together. Therefore, I enjoy spending time with my family. I have four children, and we go hiking and camping together, usually in Utah. On our hikes, we often talk about life, and I tell stories or share personal experiences. When I do this, I can focus on the kids without the distractions of video games or the Internet. Telling stories sounds easy, but when you have to think of a new story on a hot 12-kilometer hike through the desert, you have to come up with ideas off the top of your head. Now, this doesn't mean we don't have problems. All families face challenges in their lives, and our family is no exception. However, we try to talk openly about our problems, and we try to solve our problems together. Building a strong family takes time, but it's worth the effort. Okay. So, your, your answers, okay? Let me see. Okay, I can see that most of you got 100. Some of you got 80. Okay. Okay. Um, let's take the second one. Okay, let's take the second one, the second listening, the second one. 
Um, the link is this one and the passcode is the same, listening. Okay, let's take listening number two. Okay. I'm in. Thank you. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, I'm going to play it twice. Okay, twice. Okay. Ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, Mr. Taylor, let's go ahead and begin. First of all, tell me about your last job. Well, as I stated on my resume, I worked for five years at High Tech Computers. Okay, High Tech. And what do you know about computer networks and operating systems, including DOS, Windows, Macintosh OS, and Unix? Hmm, well, I did come in contact with computers every night at my last job. Hmm, and how about website authoring skills? We're looking for someone to create and manage our company's website, which would include the development, mm -hmm. configuration, and use of CGI scripts. Hmm, uh, web page, web page. Uh, I don't think I've read that book, and I'm afraid I've never used those CGI things. Huh, and what about experience with Java or JavaScript? Well, I think I've tried Java at a foreign coffee shop one time, if that's what you mean. Huh. Okay, Mr. Taylor. I think I have all the information I need. Oh, and I really like computer games. I play them every day. Right, right. Thanks, Mr. Taylor. We'll be in touch. Okay, once again. Okay, Mr. Taylor. Let's go ahead and begin. First of all, tell me about your last job. Well, as I stated on my resume, I worked for five years at High Tech Computers. Okay, High Tech. And what do you know about computer networks and operating systems, including DOS, Windows, Macintosh OS, and Unix? Hmm, well, I did come in contact with computers every night at my last job. Hmm, and how about website authoring skills? We're looking for someone to create and manage our company's website which would include the development, mm -hmm. configuration, and use of CGI scripts. Mm. Uh, web page, web page. Uh, I don't think I've read that book, and I'm afraid I've never used those CGI things. Huh. And what about experience with Java or JavaScript? Well, I think I've tried Java at a foreign coffee shop one time, if that's what you mean. Huh. Okay, Mr. Taylor. I think I have all the information I need. Oh, and I really like computer games. I play them every day. Right, right. Thanks, Mr. Taylor. We'll be in touch. Okay, guys, send your answers. Let me see. Okay. And okay. Some of you got eighties. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, some of you got one hundred. Okay. Was it really difficult? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, keep practicing. Keep practicing. Mm -hmm. Practice, practice. 
Okay, guys, let's move and let's um, go ahead and work on teams, okay? So what we're going to do is that we're going to create six sentences using the three gram grammatical structures covered in class. So that means that you are going to create two sentences with could have, two sentences with should have, and two sentences with would have, okay? So that means that you are going to create six sentences with your team. And then you are going to move to those uh, scenarios where you are going to give advice to each one, yeah? So I had a headache, okay, in past, okay? I had a headache. You should have and you said. Yeah, or you could have and you said, yeah. I went to Europe, yeah. She saved a lot of money. They wanted to buy a new house. We did not have enough money. So an example could be, I had a headache. You should have taken some pills. That is my example. You need to think about your own. I went to Europe, okay, so you could have taken some pictures. She saved a lot of money. Mm, she should have bought a car. They wanted to buy a new house. They should have saved money. We did not have enough money. Um, you should have, or we should have, we should have borrowed money from our parents. You see? You are going to give advice, consejos para esas situaciones. Yeah? So I'll give you a couple of minutes, okay? So you can work on, on those, yeah? If you have any question, let me know, please. All right? Let's move and let me go ahead and create the breaker runs. Okay. If you cannot participate, please stay in the main room. Okay, guys. Um, Blanca, can you participate in the activity? Yes. Okay. No, no. Okay, guys. Can you participate in the activity? Si pueden participar en la actividad. Yes, teacher. Eulisa. Okay, so start uh, with the uh, exercises, okay? Remember that you can share your screen. Puede compartir la pantalla para que um, vean los ejercicios, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. I can... How do you say compartir? No puedo compartir la pantalla. Why? I don't know. Uh, no sé cómo hacerlo. Um, okay, so there is going to be an option if you see it right at the bottom of the of the Zoom screen. Ve la pantalla de Zoom. Entonces al final dice share a screen o compartir pantalla. Es que tengo un problema ahorita que no puedo hacer nada. No sé, creo que me ha esta cosa. Mm, vale. um, probably, okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move you to a different room, okay? Lo voy a mover a otro salón para que puedan eh, como trabajar con los demás, ¿sí? Okay, teacher. Yes, I think that that is better. Okay, Carlos, you go with eh, Glenda. And Eulise, I'll say with 
Houseman and Nelson. And Susanna and Wilbur, Annalyn and Karen. In progress. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So the first is no. If I had, if I had, if I had one. No. Okay, it's correct. Do you have any question? Uh, no. No? Postman? Uh, for women, no. For the moment, no. Okay. No. Okay. Thank you. Right. Hello, do you have any question? Um, we need to change the structure or only give advice? Only give advice. Okay. Mm -hmm. But with the structure, okay? Con la estructura que acabamos de ver. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, si dice, I had a headache. Yo tenía dolor de cabeza. Eh, todo eso es en pasado, si se fija. Entonces, yo tenía dolor de cabeza. O, oh, tú debiste haber tomado medicina. You should have taken medicine. Okay. Yes, I want. I should take rest. Oh, or, you should, or, or I should or, have taken. Teacher, for example, eh, tú debiste ir al doctor. Uh -huh. You should have gone to the doctor. O yo, o yo debería ir al doctor. Correct. Yo debí okay. haber ido. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. She's safe at the moment. The chair, uh, uh, for example, uh, if I had a headshot, if I had a head, headache, head, headache, head. Headache. Headache. Uh -huh. If 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 I had headache, I should go to the doctor. Yes, pero recuerde que eso es en pasado. Entonces, las estructuras que hemos visto sería you should have gone to the doctor. Porque es las estructuras que hemos visto. Solo, solo agregarle el have, ¿verdad? Y el verbo en pasado participio. Ah, ok. Uh
Progress. Hello. Teacher had a question. Yes. Okay. In this case, uh, for use she, we need change the had. Have. No, it's, or has, no, or has. No, it's, it's okay. 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 Because it's past participle. Uh huh. Uh, the spelling of Eden is just with one T. Eden. Eden yeah. just one tea. Uh, 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 if I had eaten chicken. Yeah. Uh, with, without, uh, without tea, only one tea. Uh huh. Okay. Chicken with one C before K. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Before K. Before, no, before. Before, <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. If I, if she had had a new dress, she could have. Let me, is correct the past participle for this verb? Like prestar? Uh-huh. She could have lend it it me. Lend it. No, um, lent is with T. Lent. Uh -huh. This? Yes. Okay. Okay. And she have lent. Lent it. Uh, in the middle of me, you need to add it. Lent it me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay, now yes. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> The next is to trees. Si hubiésemos tenido suficiente dinero, suficiente. If I had a uh, had, if I had, had enough money. Suficiente dinero, dijiste. Yeah, suficiente. Nosotros en, que... Enough money. Suficiente, enough. Enough. Enough money. Ajá. Uh, we should. Uh, you should. We, we should. Um, you, we should have. Yes. Uh, to, to vote a lot of. Uh, Meal. We oh. should have. Eh, nosotros Hello. deberíamos. Haber eh, comprado mucha comida. No, no, pero es que no se me hace mucho sentido. Mm -hmm. Ok. Es que esto es lo que estoy. La primera sí está bien. Pero hay que como hallarle contexto a la segunda. Si nosotros hubiéramos tenido suficiente dinero, nosotros. Okay. Eh, deberíamos, deberíamos haber com comprar una casa eh, nueva podría ser uh, podría ser eh, jugando con lo mismo podríamos haber comprado lo suficiente podría ser eso para jugar la misma idea ¿verdad? que eso me, me cuesta ahorita como hallarle el contexto de la primera oración si hubiésemos tenido suficiente dinero. O oh, le debe... quitamos de... enough. Si hubiésemos, si hubiésemos tenido dinero, podríamos haber comprado eh, mucho a lot. A lot. ¿Parece? Yes. A lot, a lot, what? We should have bought eh, a lot of food. For example. Okay. Okay. Con negativos. Hagamos una. Hosman, eh, hay una. Ay, perdón, no lo pasé. 
eh, pues si gustas, eh, pensemos en español y la vamos acoplando. No hay problema. Siempre es if y el verbo y el, y el sujeto. Vea. If you, if I, if we. If they. If they. Si ellos hubieran o no hubieran. If they. Está bien usar if they. No lo hemos usado. Yeah. If they. If they. Had. No, if, yeah. if they had. Hadn't. Had. Porque no hemos usado eh, negativo. Uh -huh, hadn't. Yes. Pero es que. If they hadn't. Si ellos, por ejemplo, si ellos no hubieran ido. Gone, ok. Si ellos no hubieran ido, sí. Al cine. Gone, ok. If they hadn't gone to the cinema. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ellos no. Ellos no, es que el deberían me cuesta ahí. Ellos, ellos no, de, ellos ellos no, no de... deberían. No, ellos no hubieran. O oh, le, le puse, o oh, le hubiera, eh, le ponemos, si ellos no hubieran ido al cine? cine tarde, ellos no, no hubiesen. No, es que es deberían. No deberían. O se puede hubiese. Yes, porque shouldn't. Uh... Teacher. Huh. Yes, I'm here. Uh, it's correct if uh, hubiesen uh, we should mm, no Back the... no. Sí. no sí. el should have es debería haber debería sí, verdad haber. Uh -huh. es, es como uh, mm. es, es rígido vea. no, no cambia es, ese no. vas a acabar no. Ajá. me cuesta armar con negativo yes It is difficult because sometimes most of the of the sentences are in in positive um, yes. structure. Okay, if they hadn't go gone to the cinema, they hadn't. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. Yeah. Sorry, they shouldn't. Uh, they shouldn't. They shouldn't have. Uh, They shouldn't have uh, they shouldn't... invited me. No deberían de haberme invitado. I don't know. Mm, tiene sentido. Ya, yeah, si, no, si ellos no hubieran ido al cine, no deberían de haberme invitado. I mean... Es, que, they... es, bien, es que es bien... Mm. Es que cuesta como la interpretación. Yes. Uh, yes, because most of the, of the ideas are not in negative. La mayoría yeah. no son negativas, negativas. Puede ser intercaladas como negativa yeah. y positiva. Eh, quizás yeah. la vamos a hacer positiva yeah. la segunda. Entonces. The next uh, sentence. Okay. Ajá, la positiva. If they hadn't gone to the cinema, ahora hagamos una positiva. They should, they should have. They should, deberían. Eh, ellos have. deberían. Eh, haber ido conmigo, por ejemplo. They should have. Y ahí vamos a usar. Eh, deberían haber. They should have. Had. Deberían haber. Ajá, they, they should have gone with me. With me. With me. Si sí, es que el doble negativo me cuesta. But llevamos todos. Ahora, would have. Would have is a, a bria. Would have, a bria. Um, lo demás es lo mismo, el único que cambia es ya en la segunda, ¿verdad? El modal. If, uh, if, if, if you. I, if you. If you. If you had, if you had, si tuvieras, eh, por ejemplo, un participio de, uh, spent, 
Star. Spam. Spam. ¿Cuál es el cuarto? He trabajado. Teacher, only six sentences. No la escuchamos. Tiene el micrófono apagado. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let me see. Y... Okay, number three, uh, you are missing the letter F. Letter F, 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 F. At the beginning. Ah, uh, okay. If he had called my sister, she shouldn't have answered him. Mm -hmm. If I had cooked uh, soup, I should have bought, yes. If I hadn't got up late, I would have come early to my job. Yes. If she, uh, okay, if she hadn't, if she hadn't had a job, she would have asked money. She would have asked for money to her parents. Uh, <laughs> okay, but yes. Uh, and the she on the last sentence, lowercase s. This? Yes. Lowercase. Lower. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Okay, okay. Now the other um activity. Like what is the other activity? This one you will see. Um well go to the class. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. You oh yeah. Give me one second. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, this one. Okay. This one, uh, where you need to give advice. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see the uh, structure should, will, and... Yes, and could. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Oops. Not my hairstyle. Mm -hmm. So you have it. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. What happened? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Solo me faltan las últimas dos. Ah, okay. ¿Y Glenda? Glenda terminó. A mí solo me falta la número cinco. We did not have enough money. Ah, ok. Ok. Well, let's go back to the main room, okay? So I'm going to call you back, okay? Let's go okay. back. Yeah, let's okay. go. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Raul, can you please give me two sentences using could have? Yeah, give me a moment. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I should I shouldn't drink four cups of coffee. Okay, you shouldn't have drink four cups of coffee. Okay, another one. And another one. Uh, uh, she could have saved her money in a bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, she could have saved her money in the bank. Perfect. Yes, thank you. Wilbur, two sentences. Uh, if I hadn't 
turn up the microphone mm -hmm. and you would uh, you would you would you would have to listen you have listened me listen okay yes mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. okay if i had woke, woke up uh, early mm -hmm. i I could have I could have prepared the coffee. Uh, okay, so if I had woken up, woken. Woken up. Perfect. Postman, two sentences. Okay. Is your hand expensive the time in watching video? Mm -hmm. You will have studying for the exam. If you had spent spend uh -huh. if you had to spend time watching videos you you will have you will have studied for exam uh, you wouldn't have probably you wouldn't have studied for the exam yeah okay two is a hard uh, studying my future I will head more careful. If I had thought in my future. Oh, if you had thought. Yeah. In your future, uh huh. I would have been I would, careful. I would have been okay. Mm -hmm. That's a reality. Okay, perfect. Yes. All right. Let me see. Um, thank you, Nelson. Two sentences. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if we had had money, mm -hmm. we should have bought a lot of food. Okay. Uh, if they hadn't gone to the cinema, mm -hmm. they should have gone with me. Okay. Perfect. Okay, guys, give me the advice for number one. I had a headache. I had a headache. Mm -hmm. You should take a rest. You should have. You should have taken. Uh, you should have take or you should have taken. Taken, taken. a rest. Mm -hmm. Number okay, two. You should, have, you should have drunk water. Okay, you should have drunk water, yes. I went to Europe. You will have bought souvenirs for your family? Okay, perfect. You should have visit the visited? Eiffel, visited the Eiffel Tower. Excellent, very good. Uh -huh. Okay, she she saved a lot of money. She should have traveled around the world. Around the world. You should have a boat, a new cell phone. Perfect. Mm -hmm. They wanted to buy a new house. They should have a safe money right now. Mm, no. Uh -huh. They wanted to buy a new house fast. They want they, to, uh, they they could have you shouldn't a, you shouldn't or you it, shouldn't have a boat uh, the car okay could be yes Glenda but they wanted to buy new house. So they wanted to buy a new house. Mm -hmm. They should have. They should have. They should have saved. Okay. Money. Money. Perfect. And the last one. We did not have enough money. We should have spent. Money about 
unnecessary thing. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Okay. That is that is true. It is true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay, guys. Dollar City. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Could be right. Yeah. So, do you have any question related to this topic? Tomorrow, we are going to still practice with this topic. Okay. But I don't know if you have any question right now about this. Any doubt? Um, probably the things that I have noticed is that you sometimes forget the structure, right? You forget that we need to use the past participle of the verb. Y decimos como que estamos en presente. El, eh, por ejemplo, you should rest, pero eso es presente. Estamos estudiando el pasado. Okay? So maybe do not lose like the idea that we are studying modal verbs in the past. In the past. Mm -hmm. Do you have any doubt? Do you have any question? Not doubt uh, and question, but we need to practice. Yes. Practice. And, yeah. there, are, and there are more uh, the past participle mm -hmm. of verb. Correct. Yes, yes, I need to yes, study yes. more. Yes. Uh, yeah. um, the verbs, yes, guys. The verbs you need to study the verbs. So tomorrow, what will you uh, what you can do is that you can open. I sent the the um, the yeah. verb list, right? So have it open because we are going to use it, right? So tomorrow, please try to have that opened, and you are going to see that it is going to be easier for you. Okay. Now, before we go, let's talk about controversial topics, okay? I'm going to ask you one question, and I would like to hear your opinion, okay? So, this question. The death penalty is sometimes justified. Do you agree or disagree? And why? Yes. Yes. I yes. agree because yeah. some crime crimes uh, mm -hmm. uh, need need uh -huh. to 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 be resolved to the other people to the other people uh, take take uh, responsibility yes. Mm -hmm. Like as a example for the for the others. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the other ones, what do you think? Do you think that death penalty is sometimes justified? Do you agree? Or no? Yes, I agree. I agree. Why? I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, when the um. The uh, uh, the people are uh, how do you say culpable or comprobado? Que es culpable comprobado? Eh, que, okay. Um, okay. So culpable guilty. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. When is guilty? Mm -hmm. And they use huge mm -hmm. have a a proofs about the this crime crime mm -hmm. is justified is justified justified mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. okay so you oh, i think that all of you say that yes because nobody said no right okay well i'm not sure okay Women should be paid less than men in some professions. Agree or disagree? Disagree. <laughs> Difficult. Okay, but what do you think? That yes or no? Yes. No. <laughs> disagree. No. Uh, this disagree. competition oh. creates a unrealistic. Um, okay, so Raul is talking about this one. Okay, so okay, 
Beauty competitions create unrealistic beauty standards. That is true? Yeah. Why? It's true. Because you, you see the woman. Women? Like the women, like they are real, but not. Mm -hmm. In the in his advertisement, mm -hmm. he, they uh, shows the perfect woman in, mm -hmm. in, in realistic uh, body, maybe. Mm -hmm. In a real yeah. body, and it's not like that. Yes, yeah, he use no, they use Photoshop. Oh, they use Photoshop. Okay, 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 okay. Some women, everybody, are everybody is different. Everybody is different. Okay, Nelson. Some women are just makeup. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. In this How do you say not todas? Not everyone. Not everyone can in puede entrar in can a competition. In a uh, can participate uh -huh. in a competition. Yes. Yeah. Well, yes. Well, um, I agree, right? This one is is true that beauty competitions create unrealistic beauty standards. That is that is true. Okay, guys. Um, so right now, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. So I'll see you back tomorrow. The only person that please stay with me is Raul. Then the other ones, you may go ahead and go to sleep, rest. Okay. And tomorrow, let's try to be with more energy. Okay. I'll see you back tomorrow, guys. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Night. Good night. Okay, so um, Raul, are you there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Raul, we are going to have this short feedback that is about 10 minutes, okay? Um, we are going to try to have this feedback in English, okay? And sometimes if you don't know something, you can just uh, ask me or, or say it in Spanish, okay? Um, Raul, the first thing that I'm going to ask you is uh, how long have you been learning English? How long have you been studying the language? Uh, I study English maybe for two years ago. Mm -hmm. And before that, I remember I, 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 I tried to study, mm -hmm. but I don't know for why I I stop it and then I return again. So this time uh, I would like to 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 practice more because that is one of the things that I que me falta. That is but, so mm -hmm. I need to maybe talk more to in more uh is it a confidence uh, or, or or better mm -hmm. to to follow a conversation with another person okay all right um so um, have you taken English classes with us, with Inglés Corporativo, or it was with a different uh, academy? No, uh, I take a uh, class with, with, with your. With you? Uh, yeah. So before that, mm -hmm. I, I take another I class with another company. Oh, got it. Okay. So, uh, Raul, now let me ask you about our classes, okay? Our classes meaning my classes this month, yeah. okay? I so, uh, Raul, what do you think about the dynamic of our classes? What do you think about the activities that we do during the class? What do you think about the class in general? Uh, 
Uh, in general, I, I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's very uh, interesting. You you give us the different materials mm -hmm. or materials. Yes. Uh, and one of the most thing that 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 I like it mm -hmm. is the is the different uh, uh, little test test that we 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 take in the in the in the date, mm -hmm. for example, listening grammar, mm -hmm. and, and for me, I think it's very very good because always uh, no because. Also that that I stay in in, in the class. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I I I feeling good because I practice in the same time uh, listening and practice uh, with the with the classmate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So, um, would you like me to include something else? No, at the moment, I think it's, it is always very good. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't think it's missing something or something is bad. No, for me, it's very, very good, the, mm -hmm. the, the class. Okay, perfect, Raul. So, well... Uh, is there a topic that you think that is kind of difficult for you right now the, uh, from the ones that we have seen so far? Is there a topic that you say, hey, teacher, I don't understand this topic? Uh, let me see. Maybe sometime, but I think it's, uh, it's, for, it's, for, it's because I don't... I don't practice, and so I need to practice a little uh, topics in a specific. But it's for, como puedo decir, es por mi culpa. It's my fault. It's my fault. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So in this case, I think it's for my fault mm -hmm. uh, that I I didn't. Oh, I'd call and uh, practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Raul, tell me what do you do in your free time? What are your hobbies? Uh, let me see. Well, in my free time, mm -hmm. uh, I I try to practice uh, bicycle. I ride. Uh -huh. Bicycle. I ride on my bicycle, and also, I I. I am hiking. Okay. And I have a, a a little a little task every day. I practice Duolingo. So oh, really? Okay. At night, yeah, I have a. I would like to to practice with this uh, app. Mm -hmm. So, at night or maybe in the morning i try to practice a little 10 or 15 minutes okay okay that's perfect that you are trying to to learn with different resources right with different platforms because at the end that is um one of the most i would say uh useful methods right for you to improve a vocabulary right mm -hmm. okay Okay, perfect. So, uh, Raul, now let me go ahead and give you my feedback, okay? So, um, what I can tell you is that, first of all, I really like that you participate, right? You participate a lot, Raul, and that is really good because um, it shows that you are motivated, right? So, that you want to learn, and that is something that, that shows uh, your responsibility as well. So I really like that you participate a lot, okay? I can tell you that do not lose that motivation, okay? Keep learning, keep practicing, uh, keep participating. Every single time that you would like to participate, go ahead and do it, okay? Uh, try to be focused on the class, right? Uh, sometimes I know that probably we have a lot of distractions at home, 
but try to be focused on the class. Um, and that's pretty much, I really like your attitude that you are always participating, right? And that is something really nice. So thank you for that, Raul, because uh, you always show your responsibility, right? I think that you haven't missed any class. I'm not sure. I think that you use, um, missed one class. You haven't yeah, missed one, one, one class. And uh, let me see. It was Thursday. A, yes. I, 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 I in 30 minutes late. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I didn't see you. And I said, okay, so Raul didn't connect today because you are really constant, right? So I noticed when someone that it is uh that is really responsible do not connect, right? And I said, okay, so Raul is not here. Why? But at the end, yes. Okay. So um try to try to if you cannot be on time, but try to always connect. And if you are going to be as a listener, it's okay. But what really matters, Raul, is that you do not lose the attendance minutes, right? Because that is really important. Remember that you have the goal to reach 80% or more to continue with the next module, okay? So okay. do you have any issues with the platform? No. No? Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. Okay, so basically that was pretty much uh, what I needed to um, talk with you. Do not forget to complete the platform as well, okay? And I don't know if you have anything else to add, something else that you would like to tell me? No, teacher, all, all is very good, and I like uh, the, the class with you. Okay, so I real, uh, I'm really happy that you like the classes because at the end, that's the purpose, right? You learning that you feel that you are learning and that you improve because at the end of this module, I want you to feel hey, I did learn with my teacher, right? So that's the purpose. So I'm happy that you really like uh, the classes. We are going to continue with the activities that we do. So you are going to learn even more, okay? okay? Okay, teacher. All right, perfect, Raul. So that was pretty much, then if you don't have any doubt, any question or something else, we are going to stop right here and I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Okay, thank, thank you a lot. You, are, you as well. Take care, okay? And have a good night. Have a good night, teacher. Bye. Bye-bye.